Hello everyone and welcome to Sign of Our Time. My name is Bruce and today I want to do some evaluations. Evaluations are constantly taking place around us. For example, doctors are evaluating the health of their patients, and auctioneers are evaluating the worth of goods, while investors are evaluating the worth of businesses. And just as real estate agents evaluate the worth of a property at a given address, mathematicians evaluate polynomials at a given value of x, or any other variable. Today, we are going to evaluate five different polynomial expressions, starting with 4x plus 6 at x equals negative 5. In order to evaluate this polynomial expression, we substitute negative 5 in place of x and then simplify. So 4 multiplied by negative 5 gives us negative 20. And when we add 6 onto negative 20, we get negative 14. And that is our evaluation of this polynomial. Next, let's evaluate p squared plus 10p minus 12 at p equals 3. Remember, wherever we see a p, simply replace it with a 3. So 3 squared gives us 9, 10 multiplied by 3 gives us 30, and then we have to subtract 12. So 9 plus 30 minus 12 gives us 27. What if we are asked to evaluate a polynomial with two or more variables? Well, that is not a problem because we simply substitute those variables with given values. For example, if we are given a squared minus 2ab plus 5b squared at a equals negative 3 and b equals 2, wherever you see an a, simply replace it with negative 3, and wherever you see a b, simply replace it with 2. Now, negative 3 squared is going to give us 9, Negative 2 multiplied by negative 3 multiplied by 2 will give us 12. Now, 2 squared is 4, and 4 multiplied by 5 is 20. So all we need to do is add these up to get the solution. Now, don't be scared if we are given a polynomial that contains four terms, where one of those terms has a fraction as a coefficient. If we are asked to evaluate this polynomial at m equals 2, we simply follow the same process and substitute m with 2. Starting at the first term. Now, 2 squared is equal to 4, and 3 multiplied by 4 gives us 12. Next, 8 multiplied by 2 is simple, that gives us 16. Now for the dreaded fraction. First, I would deal with the power. 2 to the power of 3 just means 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, which gives us 8. And next, I would multiply by the numerator of the fraction. Numerator just means the top of the fraction. So when we take negative 1 and multiply it by 8, we get negative 8 over 2, which simplifies to negative 4. And of course, we have to subtract 4. So putting all of these together, when we have 12 plus 16 minus 4 minus 4, our answer is 20. Let's ramp things up a little by evaluating a polynomial into which we need to substitute a fraction. That's right, a dreaded fraction. A polynomial like minus 3y squared minus y seems harmless enough, but we do have to be careful. Now, wherever we see a y, we need to replace it with the fraction minus 1 over 2. And be sure to put the fraction inside brackets or parentheses. When we evaluate the first term, minus 1 over 2 squared just means we need to take minus 1 over 2 multiplied by minus 1 over 2. Of course, a negative multiplied by a negative will give us a positive value. And then apply the square to the top and the bottom of the fraction separately. So 1 squared gives us 1 and 2 squared gives us 4. So that leaves us with 1 over 4 and then we can take the negative 3 and multiply it by 1 over 4. And when we do that, the negative 3 multiplies by the numerator of 1, and nothing happens with the denominator. So that leaves us with negative 3 over 4. And then for the second term, we have minus negative a half. 
Now, a negative multiplied by a negative gives us a positive. So that turns out to be positive one over two. Finally, minus three over four plus one over two are different fractions that need to be brought to the same denominator. That just means the bottom of the fractions need to be the same before we can add them. Now that's easy enough because for the second fraction, one over two, we can rewrite that as two over four by simply multiplying the top and the bottom by two. So minus three over four plus two over four gives us an answer of negative one over four. I hope that you have a better understanding of what it means to evaluate a polynomial at certain values of x or any other variable, and that you have more confidence evaluating polynomials that contain more than one variable or in the case where there may be fractions involved. Well, that's all from me, and I want to say a very big thank you for watching.